Perception. This week we are learning about the subtraction. Can you remember Mr Subtract? Here he is. When we subtract, the group gets smaller. See if you can join in with some silly voices. Deep voice, ready? When we subtract, the group gets smaller. Richard's voice. When we subtract, the group gets smaller. Scared voice. When we subtract, the group gets smaller. Ahoy there. Do you remember Pirate Tom who sailed the seven seas looking for treasure? Well, today we are going to use his ship to work out some subtraction sentences. Do you think you can help me? Okay, right, let's have a look at the first one. So the first one says, six subtract four equals, or we could say six take away four equals. Okay, so how many pirates do we need in the pirate ship? Yes, we need six, because it says to start with six. Okay, see if you can help me count them, okay? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right now, how many pirates do we need to subtract? How many do we need to take away? We need to take away four. Four naughty pirates need to walk the plank and leave the ship. So we are going to subtract four. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Then we have got an answer. How many pirates are left on board the ship? Yes, two. One, two. So we can say six subtract four equals two. Brilliant, well done. Look what I have found now, reception. It's Pirate Tom's money bag. Oh, do you think there's any money in there? Let's have a look. Let's tip it out. Oh, yes, look. Pirate Tom's golden coins. Let's see how many coins are in the bag. We've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coins. There are ten coins in Pirate Tom's money bag. Okay, I'm going to write ten. Now, I think it would only be fair that Pirate Tom shares some of those coins with me. What do you think? Do you think it'd be a good idea if he uses his ruby power? Okay, so I am going to take some away before I give the money bag back to Pirate Tom. I'm going to take, ooh, I'm going to take this money away. I am going to take four pirate coins away. So look, we have created our next subtraction sentence. It says 10 subtract four equals, or we can use the word take away. See if you can say it with me. 10 take away four equals. Okay, so we've got our 10 coins. How many am I gonna take away? Yes. I'm going to take away four. See if you can count with me. One, two, three, 
four. And now, to work out the answer, we need to count how many of Pirate Tom's coins are left. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. He has still got six coins left. So we can say 10 subtract four equals six. Brilliant. I think Pirate Tom will be happy that he's still got six coins left. I wonder what he's going to buy with them. Maybe you could have a little think. Ooh, reception. What do you think this might be? Oh, do you think it might be Pirate Tom's treasure chest? I wonder if we could use what's inside to help us work out our next subtraction sentence. Shall we have a look? Okay, we can open it very carefully. What have we got? Oh my goodness. Eyeballs! Lots of pirate eyeballs! Eww. Okay, I'm going to be very brave. Let's have a look at our next subtraction sentence. Here it is. Okay, let's see if we can read it together. Ready? So it says 8 subtract 5 equals. Or let's use the word take away. 8 take away five equals. Okay, how many of those gooey eyeballs do I need to get out of the treasure chest? Yes, eight. We need to start with the first number, so I need eight. Okay, in my hand goes, ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight gooey eyeballs. Okay, right. Oh, now we need to take some away. How many are we going to take away? We are going to subtract five. So we need to take five away. See if you can help me count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we need to know and work out the answer. How many are left? Yeah, three. One, two, three. So we can say 8 subtract 5 equals 3. Brilliant. Oh, Pirate Tom can have those sticky eyeballs back. I do not want them. Another really good way to subtract without using objects is to use our hands. Who can twinkle their fingers? Okay, let's have a look at our first subtraction sentence. It says seven subtract three equals. So how many fingers do I need to put up? Yes, seven. See if you can count them with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many fingers do I need to take away? How many do we need to subtract? Three. So I'm going to take three away. One, two, three. And that leaves us with our answer. And to find our answer, we just have to count how many fingers are left. We've got one, two, three, four. So seven subtract three equals four. Four. Right, let's have a look at our next subtraction sentence. See if you can read it with me. It says 9 subtract 4 equals. So this time I need to put 9 fingers up. See if you can count with me. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many fingers do I need to take away? Four. So I'm going to put four fingers down. One, two, three, four. And that leaves us with our answer. And we've got to count how many fingers are left. One, two, three, four, five. So nine, take away four equals five. When you are confident using objects and your fingers to subtract, then you can move on to using a number track. Can you remember when we used a number track to add a couple of weeks ago and the frog jumped forwards? Well, when we subtract, the frog needs to jump backwards. Let's have a look at our first subtraction sentence. It says, five subtract four equals. So we need to start our frog on number five and he needs to do four jumps backwards are you ready remember we've got to go backwards one two three four and what number has the frog landed on he's landed on number one so five subtract four equals one. Right, let's have a look at our last subtraction sentence. See if you can read it with me. It says eight subtract three equals. Eight take away three. So our frog needs to start on number eight and do three jumps backwards ready okay so it's going to start on eight and we need to do three jumps backwards see if you can count them with me one two three and the number that the frog has landed on is the answer the answer is five so eight take away three equals five